upon them. A barricade has been declared in this particular incident. Our officers were struck by gunfire, three of our officers to be exact. All three have been transported with non-life-threatening injuries to our local area hospitals. A fourth officer was also injured but not shot. It was basically for minor injuries. At this time, the individual re remains barricaded inside the residence. This remains an active situation and the individual has continued to fire from that location. We are asking everyone to please stay out of this location until we are able to apprehend the suspect. Are there any questions? Chief, do you know if the suspect is alone inside the house? At this time, we do not know if there are any other um, individuals inside the home. Are you communicating with the we suspect? We are in com constant communication with the um, individual. Our, our negotiators are in negotiation with do, him at this time. Do you time. know him? Do you know I him? do not know him. I mean, not you personally, but do police know his name, his identity? We're, we're trying to obtain that right now. Chief, is there any kind of in, uh, information that this person was armed before the officers went to We the did home? not have, that information was not available to us. That's part of the investigation. And what and this kind of warrant are we talking about here? It was an arrest warrant for cruelty to animals, but and oftentimes we, we assist the Humane Society with serving arrest warrants for cruelty to animals. Can you explain, is that a no-knock warrant? Is there a difference I, with That's that? part of the investigation at this point. I don't know. And then uh, the officers in, in their lower extremities, where were they hit? Uh, were they hit? Uh, foot, hand, um, and, this, and listen, let me just say this, you know, and I'm not a politician, but, but here's the thing that we have to look at. It, it, there are a lot of individuals with guns on the street, and, and I know Secure DC is part of the legislation that we're asking our council members to pass. The, the penalties for folks that are just discharging firearms who do not have a right to do that is, is very challenging for us. And so I'm asking that we will certainly do everything we can to pass Secure DC, especially the portion of that bill where we need to increase the penalties for firearms. That's all I'm going to talk about right now. This, this is still a very active influence. Scene. I will come back later and make sure that I provide you with additional updates. Is this a ground floor apartment, upper level? This is a home. I do not oh, know. It's a, it's a home. home. It's a yes, sir. It's a house. Were humane service employees on scene when this shooting took place? I don't know at this time. And Nobody else injured but officers. Fired by the this part of the investigation. What kind of animals? Cruelty to animals? I don't know. It's part of the investigation. And more on what kind of cruelty? What, what the act was? It, I think I'm doing my due diligence by making sure I give you as much information as I we have right now. That. It is yeah, still an active scene. We're still gathering additional information. We do not know who the individual is, is at this time. I don't even know how many dogs are in the home. But what I will say is this is unacceptable. They were dogs. What's your, yeah, message, they were. What's your message to people who think D.C. crime is out of control? Well, I, I won't say D.C. crime is out of control. I think we have a, a group of individuals who dot, do, do not respect law enforcement and authority. Our officers, again, were where they were supposed to be, doing exactly what we need them to do, and we will continue to do that. Thank you. And I'll only officers injured. No other officers injured. No, in only, only, nobody, no civilians injured. No civilians injured. And you said it was foot in the hand of the officers were That shot. is correct. Are y'all good? Was it the suspect's home? Is that known yet? I don't or? know. Okay.